and I'm Jordan and we're going to show you how to measure peak height velocity. Um, only thing you really need is a tape measure. So Barry, if you'd like to step over to the wall for me. Gonna do. When you measure peak height velocity, usually you wouldn't use a carpeted floor, but for this demonstration there will be a carpet there. You want to try and use a flat floor um, and your participant shouldn't be wearing shoes or socks. And you need a flat surface. So I'll put this tape measure up here. Here. So you are 172 centimetres. So I'd go and note that down. And then Barry, if you can sit on the floor for me. And you need to make sure they've got their bum and their shoulders flat against the wall and their yeah and their head tilted back like that. And again, I'll just pop this tape measure flat against that wall. I can use this. So that is 92 centimetres. And I'd note that down as well. And what you can do with those measurements is if you subtract the sitting height from the standing height, that will give you the leg length also, and you can make a separate note of that. And also, something you can measure is the arm span. So, Barry, if you take this side, if you put your start your hand on 10 centimetres for me and we'll put it at your shoulder height and just put your toes as close to the wall and is your hand on 10 centimetres there? Yeah. yeah so it's at 180 but he started at 10 centimetres so his arm span would be 170 centimetres brilliant and I'll take a note of that also and you want to do this measurement quarterly so if I put that tape measure down we can just show you what you need to do with these measurements now. Barry, if you want to just explain. So an example of the recording yearly measurements with the age and height we have here. So it's recommended that the measurements of the height be recorded quarterly during the year. For here we just have it yearly. So pre-peak pre height velocity, children grow at five centimeters on average per year. So here's just an example of five, 4.8. So during the peak height velocity, adolescents will grow at a rate of 11 to 15 centimetres per year. And here's an example of this data plotted on the graph. So as you can see here, we have just at 11 years old and 12, 13, it starts to peak, which is related to the information we have here. So monitoring the growth, growth before, during and after the adolescent growth spurt is very important for coaches to be able to create an individualised plan to optimise the athlete's development. Thank you very much. Thank and that's how you measure peak height velocity.